Hey, it's me, Quinn, uh, Stray Photo, strayphoto.com. Um, every now and then I like to do a uh, kind of a product review, I guess. I don't know whether they're any good or not, but it, sometimes it helps me if I look at something on YouTube and somebody else says A, B, or C about it. Sometimes I like to have one of my questions answered, so sometimes I like to try and answer someone else's questions about a product. Um, I run, I run pretty regularly. I don't usually wear headphones when I run. At least I go through phases. I'll, sometimes I'll wear them a lot and I'll wear them for two or three months in a row when I run. And then other times I'll go six, eight, nine months without ever wearing headphones when I run. But this last summer, I started listening to this audiobook series. Um, anyway, it's stuck in my head. I can't finish it. I can't get through it. I've got to keep listening to it to get through it. Um, so at any rate, I've been listening to headphones a lot when I run lately. And a couple years ago for Christmas, I bought myself these uh, M Pow, I think they're called, Bluetooth headphones from Amazon. They were super inexpensive. I don't remember how much I paid for them. Less than 20 bucks, I think. And they've been pretty good. They connect well. The external controls are pretty okay. I don't love them, but I don't hate them, really. Uh, the left one, I don't think, it's somehow, when it's in my ear, I can't hear as well out of it as I can my right side. I don't know if that's my ear problem or the headphones problem. Of course, I lost all the adapters to these, uh, the little headphone piece, the rubber piece. I've lost all the extra pieces almost immediately in these little ear holder in parts. So at any rate, and in the winter, if I put something on over my ears to keep my ears warm, then it pushes these further into my melon head, and that kind of stinks. It hurts after a while. It gets annoying. So sometimes if I'm on a longer run, I end up taking them out, put them back in, taking them out. At any rate, these work, but they're not great. So I started looking at different options, and I looked at a whole bunch of like really ridiculously expensive Bluetooth headphones. At any rate, came across these on Amazon. This is some sort of headband. Um, that's the cable. And this is just this thing was Bluetooth. <laughs> Some sort of headband that I kind of thought, well, maybe it'll keep my ears a little bit warmer because it's winter, and maybe it'll have speakers and it'll be more comfortable than the in the ear headphones. Um, I got this one because it says you can take the uh, little speakers out and wash them. And, uh, at any rate, let's see how it works. Looks like there's a charging port right there. And already I can say that the stitching on this is just garbage. I mean, these were only 15 bucks, but... I'm no audiophile. I don't demand <laughs> super high quality stuff, but the stitching, if you can see, I don't even know. At any rate, the stitching's falling apart right there. It's, it's like right from the seller classic. Anyway, let's plug them in. We'll charge them up. We'll see how they work. I don't even know. The speakers feel pretty big in there. So then you actually wear them over your ears, just like the top. Yeah, see? Already I feel like a dork. It feels like the speakers are too far in front of my ears. Maybe I got them on backwards. I don't know. We'll charge it up and see how it works. All right, so this um, this side, I don't know what to call this side, if it's the right side or the left. I guess I would probably put this on the right side since I'm right-handed, and it has the uh, controls on it. It has a little light that turns on here, a little red light, and then it um, turned off, I guess. That means it's charged. Um, at any rate... I'm surprised at how kind of thick the actual speaker units are. They, se they seem pretty thick, thicker than I had expected, and I don't know what I expected, but I expected something a little bit thinner than this. Um, let's see. They are... Yeah, I mean, they're 16, 15.9, oh, almost 16 millimeters thick, which makes them feel, I don't know, they're pretty big. I have a big head. This feels tight on me. I'm usually between a 7 and 5 eighths and 7 and 3 quarters hat size, so I do have kind of a big head, but these still, 
It seems a little tight, but I think it'll loosen up. I don't think that's an issue. It's tight, it's stupid. Um. I don't know. That seems all right. Let's see if I can get them to connect with any sort of uh, ease. I don't know if... Uh, you can tell there's definitely little buttons in here. Ah, I'm going to have to read the instructions. All right, I've been reading the instructions. It says to... Uh, Long press the stop button. So now it says pairing. Well, it says connected now. So let's see if it works. Yeah, I can definitely hear it. If I have like an initial impression just sitting here in my office with the stupid headphones on. Like the headphone itself is right here and my ear is back here. If I could stretch this and get it to go... Well then I can hear that really well. But in a normal fit thing, I mean the speakers are right here. One inch in front of my ear. It's definitely not loud. Yeah, I'd be a little bit surprised if I could hear that well while I was running. But let's go for a run and see if it, had, if it works. Okay, so it's cold out. It's not freezing. I mean, it's 35, 33. It was 28 this morning. So these are definitely keeping the tops of my ears warm, and I like that. I'm louder by pulling them further down over my ears. The bad part is that they're quiet enough that they're already at max volume. And if they're right over my ears, then I can hear them pretty well. But if they're up a little bit, it's pretty quiet. Like, if a car went past me, I would never hear anything. I would hear the car though, which is great because that's one of the problems with the in-the-ear headphones is I hate not being able to hear traffic and dogs that are chasing me. At first I couldn't figure out the volume controls, but now I figured them out. You can turn it up, turn it down, um, track up, track down, or at least search a little bit. The problem is I've got it on full volume all the time. And like if when I was on Main Street with the traffic, I couldn't really hear too much, um, even at full volume. Which, if you're listening to music, that wouldn't really be a big deal at all. But if you're listening to this stupid audiobook with 44,000 characters and a bunch of plot twists, then it's not being able to hear it is a problem. All right, for the last mile or so, I listen to music. They're way better for music. Yeah, I even had to turn the volume down to about, I don't know where, but roughly half. And I can still totally hear the music. So if it's something you're not that interested in, paying real close attention to, or you just want some background music, it's, it's pretty good for that. I was gonna say you could do worse, but it's the cheapest one I found, so maybe you can't do worse. But as long as you're not some sort of crazy audiophile, which again, I'm not. For music, it seems to be pretty adequate. All right, so just got back from running with the headphones on. And I gotta say like the tactile feel over here, the actual the, the buttons is actually pretty good and the, the feedback you can tell when you've pressed them one of my complaints about these other ones is that this is the volume button here it's like up 
and down, and then this is um, pause and play and power. Um, once these are in my ear, and I have to reach up here to fumble with this, especially if like on a cooler day I'm wearing gloves, then it's kind of finicky, and it's hard to tell if I'm pressing the up or the down, and, and I've used these a lot. That's actually surprising that I still fumble with those. Maybe it's just because I'm an idiot. But uh, I find these buttons to be pretty finicky. At the end of the day, I found these buttons to be pretty, pretty decent. Um, again, like I say, the sound quality isn't all that fantastic, but I don't really care. I don't... <clears throat> nah, when I was younger, maybe I cared how much, how well the sound sounded or the... No, I was never into that. I, if it was loud, it was cool. <laughs> I didn't care how it sounded, really. And I still don't. Um, one concern that I do have, this connected pretty easy. I, I was impressed with how well and how fast it connected to my phone. Um, the controls all seem to work well. The speakers, they press a little bit against the top of my ears. I, that's probably because this is new and it's probably a little tighter if I stretch out over time. Um, the audiobooks, I really couldn't hear very well when I was on Main Street near the traffic. When I was on a back street um, with no traffic, that I could hear them pretty well. The music, once I turned the music on and ran with music, it was great. It totally was fine. I did. I turned it down a little bit anyway, and uh, things seem to work really well. Um, one thing I've noticed about the construction of this, and I said a little bit yesterday about how it's not the world's greatest stitching or construction. This also seems to pretty be a, uh, a pretty high cotton content, which in something like this, I don't know how long it's going to last. It's just going to get sweaty, and t even just now after only five miles, it's really sweaty. And so that's the bonus to something like this is you know, you're not going to wash these. I'm mean, definitely going to have to wash this over and over and over. Um, in the summer, I wouldn't wear this. It, it would be way too hot. Um, as far as the cotton content, if it was more of a lycra spandex or something, it probably, I feel like this is going to stretch out and stay stretched out. Um, I might be able to regain a little bit of the elasticity with washing it, but it's just a, something I've noticed. I can't really comment on how long it's going to last because I've only used it one time. So I went into this with pretty low expectations, having only spent $15 on it. And I got to say, it's better than I thought it was going to be. But it's not fantastic. Take that for what it's worth. It's a pretty poor review of something is basically to, at the end of the review, say, eh, whatever. But after one use, I, you definitely can hear the music. You can hear the audiobooks. Not as good as the music, but fair. Um, connects well. It's not uncomfortable. It would definitely be a little hot in the summer. But as far as what I bought it for, for covering the tops of my ears, because they get really cold in the winter, and being able to hear the audiobooks without blocking out sounds, that's great. I heard three dogs that I know I don't hear with these um, today. So, yeah, the, letting in the ambient sound is definitely a bonus when you're running, especially around traffic. And, and this accomplishes that. It alleviates what I always consider to be a problem with these. Um, at any rate, my take it or leave it review of the, I can't even remember what it's called on Amazon, the m music headband. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's me, Gwen Stray Photo. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click on like and subscribe if you're so inclined. Also, if you're into camera themed t shirts, I've got a bunch of really cool t shirt designs over at my Redbubble store. I'll put a link in the description. I've also got a bunch of really cool stickers there as well. Thanks.